Nahum chapter 3. Now let me apply the last chapter of Nahum to America by May. I know Nineveh is a city. Nineveh is the capital city of Assyria. But when we close the chapter of Nahum, and as I studied this today, I saw America. Now let me get to the fact is Nineveh had at its time in the book of Jonah, it had a revival. They got right, they repented, and God blessed them. America's had two to three revivals, and I'm not counting the modern revival. I'm not going to count the, mar the modern miles of uh, the contemporary music, the contemporary preaching, and, uh, none of that garbage. Because that doesn't please God. I'm talking about when, the, you see, what the Baptists get upset is the preaching of Whitfield and the preaching of, of Moody and that. They weren't Baptists. Billy Sunday did not have a home church. Do you know that? Yet that guy shut bars down. That guy shut theaters down. How's your church doing, Mr. Baptist, Mr. Pastor, great pastor, great church? Take a map of where your church is, draw a line five miles, a circle around your church, and how many package stores, how many bars, how many liquor stores are in that five-mile circle? How many movie theaters? What is in that five-mile five radius of your church? Then don't go tell me about how great you are. Now, I want to look at America through Nineveh. Whoa. Okay, that's the very thing. You better be whoa. You better be careful. You better be ready. Belt Sizer was partying, having a good old time, and he went to bed drunken. And he woke up in hell. All the Sodomites and the Gomorrahites. When about, they all went to bed too. The Bible says Abraham got up more and looked toward Sodom, looked toward the plain, and just smoked. Now, if God doesn't judge America, he's going to have to apologize for those nations. I've said that over and over. Woe to the bloody city. Bloody city, gee, bloody city. Uh, the legalization, and they want to legalize those the Supreme Court said Roe versus Way, it, it, they still want to legalize abortion. And if you can't do it by surgical, they want to do it by prescription. Get ready to say goodbye to your medical field. Get ready to say goodbye to your prescription. Get ready for more diseases. Because the sodomites are, are allowed to get married now. They don't produce children. They produce sexual transmitted diseases. We're going to get another black plague. And it ain't going to be from the fleas of mice. It's going to be the fleas of sin. Woe to the bloody city. When we have in a criminal system of America called the correctional facility. Where men are housed. Women are housed. Children are housed. They committed murder. They have been found guilty once. They have been found guilty twice. They have been found guilty three times by a judge, by a jury of their own peers. God said before the law, during the law, and in the church age, Paul said, I refuse not to die if I have committed a capital offense. In America, murderers still live. That violates the scriptures. He turns around and says, God bless America. Oh, no, he's not. Don't do it, God. Don't do it, God. Don't do it. They don't want you. Well, Donald Trump, he said, Jesus, to fool you slobs. You gullible. It's full of lies. Oh, there's America. Our political system. Our big businesses. 
Our products are full of lies and deceit, artificialness. We call our media fake news. And yet, the gullible Christians still watch it. The people still watch it. They know they're being lied to. They don't want the truth. They put Jesus on the cross for the truth. And, and Paul said about a bunch of Christians, Have I become your enemy because I spoke the truth? I've been in churches where I speak the truth, the pastors don't care, and the preacher don't care. Today in America, if you go about to speak the truth, and let's say it, it's the truth, beyond the shadow of the truth, and all the truth, the person you've spoken about will get a lawyer and sue you. The, the, the corporation will get their 26,000 lawyers to sue you, to keep you quiet. It's funny because there are some things I want to say on Facebook and I don't. About Christians, about church. You say, why don't you say it? Because I'm afraid that they're going to violate the scriptures. You say, Stata, what do you mean? Paul said to the churches, you ought not to take anybody to court. I fear that if I say the truth about a Christian and other churches and all that, I'm afraid they still take me to court. They don't care. Robbery. Robbery. One of the leading soda companies. I'm not going to mention their name. They say they're going to raise their price and they're going to make their, their products smaller. What? Again, we got a correctional facility here where they house robbers. I, I said this in just the same time when the, the, the short version. Where I come from, Connecticut, there was a bank robber. She went to jail. She was released on jail. She went on a on a bank robbery spree that man, it, it baffled everybody. And when she was finally caught, they said, well, How did you do it? She goes, Oh, when I went to jail, I talked to other bank robbers, I talked to other thieves, and I got education in the correctional system. I'm wondering where she is today. You put a bunch of criminals together, it's not a correctional facility, it's a school on crime. But you're too stupid to know anything. You can't say stupid. I did. They, the prey departeth not. Everybody is prey to everybody. Friend, that's America. I know somebody today is talking to the Insta chat. She, she's been swindled twice. I bought an, an online auction site. I got myself a flea collar for one of my cats. Oh, what the guy was doing was he, he taking all these orders and then he just dropped out with the people's money. Well, eBay caught on to him. There's swindling, there's lies, there's, there's blood, there's murder, there's crime. It ain't gonna end. Because even our legal system, that clues to cops, are just as corrupt. I had a police officer talking about, you know, street preaching. I went to the police station, told him what we're, our goals are. I have a witness to my son about this. We talked about it. He told us of his disapproval. I handed him the paperwork and the Constitution about the Supreme Court saying what we're doing is completely allowed. We can do it. That cop looked at me, picked himself off that desk, stood up, looked at me, looked at my son. He says, even if I was giving the orders to arrest you, I'd kill it. I said, well, what about the Constitution? What about the Supreme Court? I don't care about that. I said, well, I wouldn't care about if I sue everything about you, sir. And you do know that you said that in a company of witnesses. The noise of a whip. The noise of the rattling of wheels. Now that's not the whip for a person. Which they used to have in old times the fool and the, and the gallows and the, the stocks. Of the prancing of horses and the jumping chariots. You know what we're surrounded by today in America? Traffic everywhere. 
Everywhere you go, there's traffic. Everybody's out of work, but wh where's all the traffic coming from? It's Black Friday. We gotta go line up at the stores. Oh, they're gonna come up with this new phone. We gotta line up the stores. We got our, you know, we 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 got our our, our food stamp card. Oh, I'm a working man, all right? I'm on disability. I got a letter today from Florida. If I don't use my 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 welfare card, I forget what they snap or whatever they call it. They're going to take it away from me in 30 days. Oh. I forgot I even had it. So I went online, looked up to see how much money do I have on it. I don't even have $4 on it. I'm a working man. I, I, did, I labored. I'm on disability. And... For the, since November, when I last used the car, I've had four hours on it. And it did not get increased every month I didn't use it. I worked in grocery stores. I've seen the carriage full of two to three times a week. People don't work for a living. Their only thing is they make babies to get more money. And, oh, don't think that drug test is going to get away with me either. Because I've sat in, in a store waiting for my prescription with my wife who's going on to glory. And we watched a couple families come in about, about the first of the month and all that. And they picked up the over-the-counter drug testing kits. So when the state comes and checks them, they make sure they don't have any drugs in their system. Yeah. It's fraud. The horseman lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. War. And then it's like, oh, look at my spear. Look, look at my... Isn't it pretty? You like my gun? Isn't it pretty? Look at all the ammunition I have. Isn't it pretty? There's a multitude of slain. Isn't that in America now? How many have been killed by guns? And the, the gun activists out there, they, 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 they get all excited. They get all mad. Well, listen. If the bullet that killed all these people, it came from something. It didn't come from the rock. It came from a gun. Guns kill. We are getting more and more people that are getting slaughtered everywhere and anywhere you don't know. They're killing people because they didn't get a mustard packet at the drive through of their fast food restaurant. They're being slain in America, both before they're born and after they're born. Isn't it weird, isn't it ironic that we are slaying the, the babies in the womb and the young children are slaying us in the schools and everywhere else? Galatians 6, 7. The great number of carcass carcasses. There is none, there is none end to their corpse. They stumble upon their corpses. Now what we're doing is we're looking at the destruction of Nineveh. There's going to be dead bodies everywhere. There are dead bodies in America now. Highway accidents, shooting. Uh, I think this week and last week, I think there's been three brawls, fights, at these amusement kind of park things. I don't know why. 
I don't care. I just look at the, at, at the headline. We are sending ammunition to Ukraine to fight Russia. I don't know who's right. I don't know who's wrong. That's not my judge. That's God and the nation. Whether right or wrong, we are now involved in a war of killing people. But we went over to Iraq under Bush for the weapons of mass destruction, and we got the corp the the the, corp the, the, the enemy. I can't remember what his name was. I don't want to remember. I don't care about his name. And when we captured him, we found no weapons of mass destruction. They lied to us. Oh, President Biden's raising the gas prices. President Biden's raising. You haven't said anything about President Biden is lowering the gas prices. You're all upset. Five dollars. Uh, I support a missionary in Ukraine. I support. His last prayer letter says they're paying seven bucks for gas. I suppose Biden has something to do with that. <laughs> no. Nah. So even the Republicans are lying to us. The supposed Christian. They're lying to us out of the pulpit. They're lying to us out of the religions. They're lying to us Christians. Born again Christians are lying. The Catholics are lying. The Mormons are. I mean, they got all these television shows you know, about the Mormons. They're lying to you. I saw today, you know, this is something with the Mormons, but their trek out west and all the, what it was supposed to be. I'll tell you why they went west. Because the government tried to shut them down for the illegal marriage of polygamy. It's illegal in, in America to, to be polygamy, having more than one wife. So the Mormons moved. The Mormons moved. They're Joseph Smith was murdered in a prison by the men, the, the wives, that he stole from them. Oh, they're going to color that up. They're going to lie to you about the, the, the history of the slavery of America. They're not going to tell you that many of the slave owners, north and south, brought the slaves to know the white man's God called Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, they had to sit in another section of the church. Okay? How many of your black people today that are now free go to church? Take their children to church. El Zippo. Because of the multitude of whoredoms of the well-flavored harlot. So, in, so God is telling us in Nineveh, Notice the word is singular. I know we talked about whoredoms in, in Hosea, about religious idolatry and imagery. I don't think that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Ninevites. We're talking about the, the Assyrians. We're talking about Gentiles, dead dogs. How do you know that? Jericho had a harlot. And she was well known. She was even known by the king. Of, hey, there's guys came in. Now. We know all military men run to the harlot. You know, there's harlotry and whoredoms in America. I can take you right now where I live in Daytona Beach. I can go. I, <clears throat> I can go east, and I go north, and not too far. A strip bar across the street. There's X-rated books and movies and all, and horrors and horrors. The 
It's supposed to be illegal. Yeah, it's supposed to be illegal. And yet the police will put someone out there as an undercover harlot. Look at all the crimes in Nineveh. And compare those crimes and activities of America. We got complete whoredoms in America, and it's not religious. They're called Republicans, they're called Democrats. They will sell the country out. I, I like what somebody said one time. It'd be interesting that if, if the Republicans and Democrats wore the patches and the names on their suits, like the NASCAR drivers wearing their suits, everybody supports them. For every bride and every amount of money that goes under the table and everything, the illegal act, they would put a patch on their shirts and pants. Oh, don't worry. They hide now. But at the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, wherever they go, it's going to be revealed. The mistress with witchcraft. So King Saul went to one. The witch of Endor. That sells the nations through her whoredom. And the families through her witchcraft. That's Mystery Babylon. That's the Pope. That's the Vatican selling himself and herself all over the world. I mean, after all, in America, in America we, we, we cover up the Catholic Church. We say Maryland. It's called Maryland. It's like the, the, the Christian, the born-again Christian in the Baptist Church can't get Christ Mass. They can't understand Mary Christ Mass. Huh? We're going to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. You can't say nothing wrong about the Catholics. Why don't you shut up and get out of that pulpit that you stand in? You don't deserve to be in a Sunday school. You don't be deserve to be in that church of a Baptist with the, the, our daily bread. I don't pray for you, brother. I pray for your wife. I don't pray for you. I pray like Paul prayed for that man who was sleeping with his father's wife in, in the Corinth church. Uh, destruction of flesh. You actually pray like that? When there's that much wickedness, yes I do. Witchcraft. Bewitch. The Blair Witch Project. Wizard of Oz. Harry Potter. And Lord forbid the stuff that I don't even know that's on television in movies today. And we haven't even looked at the, it hasn't even mentioned the sodomy or anything like that. I mean, we got to the point right now, a, 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 a children's movie with toys are, are involved in sodomy. I don't know how. Last time I knew, and they're going to probably change it, or they change it, Barbie was interested in Ken. Ken was not interested in Phil, and Barbie wasn't interested in Sally. Well, who knows what they do now? Who knows what they're trying to teach your children? There's witchcraft in the church today. There's magic in the churches. I've been to two churches, a well-known church, I'm not going to mention it, where, and a missionary. They do little magic tricks for the kiddies. They even done their magic tricks at the pulpit. One of them did it for BBS. One just had, had the family do it just, just to do it. And the missionary does it every year. You don't read your Bible? One of, one of the churches, I know he reads his Bible. I know he studies the Bible. And he still allows it. Oh, I know what happens. He's not there during the VBS. He's somewhere else. So God won't charge him. 
Oh, Lord forbid, if I mention his name, he goes crying to everybody on how I've insulted him. Where he's lied about me. Behold, I'm against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. God is a God bless America. No, he won't. No, he's not. You're only being blessed by the few Christians that are praying are still around. My prayer ain't for the country. My prayer is for Americans, for the few people that I can reach that, that are lost, to try to tell them about Jesus Christ, the very few Christians that I, I meet that were willing to grow and get right. I've only met one person, and the person aggravated me, I had to say bye. I've been in many churches since I've been in Florida. I've only had one person, another person out of church, we got quite over Trump, that's interested in growing in the Lord. Nobody else. Oh, you know, oh, you, you were such a great help to us. You, you gave us great things. Oh, we learned so much about you. Why don't you? Uh, we're going to enjoy our Christmas. We're going to enjoy our Easter. We're going to enjoy celebrating our pastor and God says, I'm against it. God is against. I can't think of his name now. Um, Demas. All the things that Demas did was great. Then Paul said, you know what? He left me for Thessalonica. God was against that. You see, how well was God pleased with the, with Luke? And all Luke did was stay with Paul, comfort Paul. And Luke, on that shipwreck, he's like, we're all going to die. Read it. That guy lost his faith. God said, you know, I like Luke so much, Luke. You're going to write the Gospel, Luke. And you're going to write the Book of Acts. Why? At the end of Paul's life, only Luke is with me. These guys I sent off to the ministries, sent them off to this church, Demas, he's forsaken me. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. I don't understand what skirts are on the face. I know a veil. I will show the nation thy nakedness. You know, the other nations hate America. They do. People only want to come to America. Everybody is lining up to get in America. To steal from our paycheck, to get our, our free benefits, to get free food, to get welfare. That's why they come. Don't go for that Statue of Liberty crap anymore. That's done with. That's gone. That was our founding fathers of Europe that came over here and started with nothing and built themselves up. That's not today. Okay, them dreams are gone. And listen, my great-grandparents came over from Poland. Came, they actually came through Ellis Island into Connecticut. And my family grew from nothing. Immigrants. They come over here looking for something. And the government's all too happy to give it to them. That's one thing that probably never happened in Nineveh. The freedom to steal from other people. In the name of welfare, in the name of wit. If you were disabled, even in God's nation of Israel, you went out to the street corner, you went out to the gates, and you begged. You were crippled. You were born crippled. That man that, that, that met Peter and John at the temple, 
was at the gates of the temple, was at the stairs, and he begged for money. We got our veterans that live on the streets. I've met them all. The government don't help. The ones that beg on the streets today, you know, are, are, are vets. They shouldn't be like that. And the people waste all their money on the drugs. They get money from the government. They just blow it on drugs. I've talked and met with them. I'm a street preacher. I've been with street ministry. I will show the nations thy naked. One day God's going to reveal America who she is. God's going to show every American citizen, whether a taxpayer or not, he's going to show us the truth about the Republican. He's going to show us the truth about the Democrat. <clears throat> he's going to show us the truth about the Independent. One day you're going to know, the, I don't know what it is, but one day you're going to know the full truth about Donald Trump. You're going to know the full truth. I don't know anything about, about Nancy Pelosi and, and uh, Joe Biden. And all the presidents, all our leaders, all our governors. You're going to know their true motives. You're going to know everything behind closed doors. You're going to know what happened to Jimmy Hoffa and all who were involved. You will know what happened in the final moments of Emily Earnhardt. You're going to know who built this nation and who destroyed it. You're going to know the unsolved mysteries and unsolved crime. You're going to know the truth. One day... The slavery in America is going to be revealed by the God of truth, whether you like it or not. One day, your pastor, whether he's good or bad, whatever he is, God's going to reveal him. Everybody in your church, including yourself, God's going to reveal your nakedness. That man you pretend, that woman you pretend to be their friends and be Christian, and if it's not, God will show them. And the kingdom's thy shame. The people who think that that person is a great Christian, God's going to show them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, I don't know if it's an illustration, but I've heard in a few churches, and I know pastors tell lies, we all lie. But that way. All our lives are real. But I have heard many pastors say that, you know, you come into church, you act holy on that, and you, you know, you're the same one smacking your wife on the way to church. That shame God's going to reveal. I will cast abominable filth upon me. Not just filth, abominable filth. Damnable. And what is that? That is the proof, that is the evidence that will damn you. I mean, that would be a literal odor in the court, making it reek. You never met your mayor of your town, but God will reveal who he is and what he is. I will set thee as a gazing stock. I mean, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to mock you. Like they did to Jesus on the cross. Why did they do it to Jesus? Because he was true. He was honest. He's God. Why are they going to do it to you? Because God's going to reveal the truth. God's going to tell the truth. God cannot lie. You might be, your pastor might be there, and you might be standing there at the judgment. 
I don't know which one. And as a congregation, your mouth may drop to the floor. Oh, God, that was our pastor. You mean to tell me our pastor was, was having sex with a 16-year-old on the floor? Don't believe me? That was in the news. You mean to tell our, our Baptist Association there were pastors that were having sex affairs and all that, and the, and the association covered it all up? Wait a minute, that guy's our deacon. That's our pastor. Wait a minute, that guy got up and preached about abortion. He had a sex interview with a woman, and then he got her pregnant, and she went and had him. That's called a hypocrite. I'm not saying it happened, but boy, roll the dice. Judgment seat of Christ. And the great white throne judgment, all the truth we reveal. Yea or nay. Those that you lift up on high, you're going to find out. <laughs> you're going to find out that little meek person in church that nobody knew, they made fun of. And that's the one that God's going to highly exalt. And shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh's laid waste. America's laid waste. Can't give me welfare no more. Bye. <laughs> the, the, the treasury of America is empty. It is empty. America's in debt. Who will bemoan her? How many people have you recently? Oh, Nineveh. Oh, Nineveh. <laughs> I mean, there's still some people who are who believe they're not, and they still lift up out of Hitler. Which shall come, which, well, whence shall I seek comforters for thee? You're going to be found in guilt. You're going to find in shame. And you're going to think everybody that backed you up, everybody that loved you, pastors, Christians, you had everybody as your friend. They, you had everybody in church full unto the judgment day. And the least likely, and the one that was mocked, he's the one who's got the crowns on his head from the hands of the holy hands of Jesus, that Jesus said, well done. They're going to be pastors going to hear one day Jesus say, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. As leaders of all nations. I have heard through missionaries, there have been presidents of nations that believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and gave liberty to the missionaries. You don't hear about them. You will one day when God praises them. No, you hear about the missionary shoe boxes, you can't have gospel tracks. I was in a Southern Baptist church, you never heard anything about the missionary. You heard about one guy and director them <laughs> wherever he go. I don't even know where he went. I don't even know who the guy is. It's just a name. I supported or, or knew a missionary in Mongolia. And the missionary was in the jail ministry. And 
in that jail ministry, they quite a few got saved, and they they knew that you had to be baptized after you. I mean, not you didn't have to. I mean, the man, the thief on the cross wasn't baptized, but they wanted to be baptized according to the scriptures. And they went to the warden of Mongolia prison. And they pleaded. I believe it was a female. It's been a long time. Well, the long and short of the story is that warden got saved. That warden allowed the missionary to bring one of them inflatable pools or something in, or one of those, those kitty pools. And the warden was baptized with the people in prison. And God said, I like that. I... See, there are some workers of shame and there's some workers of shameless. Okay, now this one here, I got to show you. All right. Thou better than populous? No. Now that's not no like no or yes. It's a city. And I did some looking over and let me move my ugly face over. Sorry Facebook, you can't see this. You get the video. No. Or no Ammon. Name the city. Rather than populous, no. Jeremiah 46, 25. Ezekiel 30 to 14 to 16. Name for Amen. A M E N. Or Amen. A M O N. Now listen. Thebes' chief god, where the Greeks called it the city of Zeus. That's the god of the Greeks. There's no higher than Zeus. Appearing as many kings' names. You know, you know, it's connected some with Ham, Noah's son. Or a man, A M A N, the nourisher. Or Haman, H A M O N, the sun god. Are you connecting with me here? Or Amon, A M O N, the artificer. We have studied the Bible. I don't care what the Septuagint says. Amen, the sun, S-U-N, a human figure with a ram's head, seated on a chair. It's situated among the rivers, and what it is, it looks like that this city is an island in the Nile River. So this is a city of gods. And I thought it was quite interesting that when I read this and looked that up, and I don't know what it's worth, but when I grew up, there, there was a, a advertisement against drugs. They say no to drugs. Call upon the gods. Now, man may not have known that, okay? Satan would have. Satan would give you anything to, to glorify him. Even if you don't know you're glorifying him. It was situated among the rivers that had the waters round about. It looks like it was an island, the Nile River, whose rampart was the sea, Mediterranean. Her wall was from the sea. And what it's doing is comparing Nineveh to all these nations. You know, in America today, we got African American. I'm Polish. We got Polish American. We got Italian American. We don't have America. Because supposedly, when you come to America, you're supposed to swear, swear allegiance. You're supposed to leave your native land for America, the land. Any other nation would be illegal. To say you're foreign nation than the nation you're in. 
You're not African American. You're either African or you're American. You don't put African first. I know where your allegiance is. America, listen, I, I, I've worked in the Navy. I worked for the, uh, building submarines. I worked on the sub base. Our military is all nationalities of all the world. December 7, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. We have Japanese in our military. Germany was a threat to all the world in World War II. We have Germans in our military. We had a war against the Afghan. Afghans are in our military. We've got Catholics in our military. We've got Islam in our military. The next world war we get, where's going to be the standing of, all, of these people in the American military? When you read the war stories of Japan, a Japanese, or a German, World War II, or even uh, uh, Vietnamese, Vietnam War, or a Korean in the Korean War, when you read their accounts, when they look down that trigger, and it could have been somebody of their family, that hurt. But they swore allegiance to America. You think that's going to happen today where our own Americans are killing Americans? We had in, in the Gulf War, we've had several incidents. One I'm reminded of, of, a, of a soldier, our, one of our soldiers, took a, took a bomb and threw it into a mess tent. We've had men of Islam attack our own troops. Ethiopia and Egypt were her strength. And this is still talking about no. It was infinite. Does that sound like America? We're the great word of one. I'm proud to be American. Nobody's going to get us made in the USA. We got to send a letter. We got to have a recall. <laughs> Put another city in Lupin where thy helper. Yet, was she carried away? She thought she was great too. She went into captivity. Pride and proud. Her young children were dashed in pieces on top of all the street. Is that like Judah? They cast lots for the honorable men. And all her great men were, were bound in chains. America's great and pride. America's great and proud. But you're going to fall. If you don't, God's going to call no and say, I apologize to you. Nineveh, you step up, i got to apologize to you. Sodom, I'm sorry. Gomorrah, deeply sorry. Out of the Nazi party, very sorry. God ain't going to do that. God will eventually, one day, judge this nation. Well, he's going to say apologize to Judah. Apologize to Israel. The Babylon. And keep on going? Yep. Yeah. You see, all these nations that the Bible says and history says, let's rewrite history now, that were destroyed by God because of their sins, America don't want its people to hear that. America's churches don't preach that. America will be judged. I don't care how often you say, God bless America. Yet, was well, she carried away, she went into captivity, her young children also were dashed in peace at the top of the streets, they cast lots of honorable men, and all her great men were bound in chains. Thou also shall be drunken. We're drunken. I I, I heard a thing, a thing last month. I, I was watching with the December seventh, nineteen forty one, Pearl Harbor. Uh, they were all in church that morning. They were sleeping to go to church. Or, no, they were all drunk. They had hangovers. When the Japanese attacked, and the Japanese knew that. 
Listen, I live by the United States Naval Base. You know how many bars are in the area in that place? I, I worked those hours. I drove a tow truck. I delivered newspapers. You know how many of those men and women of the Navy were in those bars? Don't you tell me they were in church service. I was in church service Sunday mornings. Not many of your military were there. Don't you fool me. You can fool the Republicans. You can fool the Democrats. You ain't going to fool a Bible believer. Thou shalt be hid. Thou also shalt seek strength because of the enemy. All thy strongholds, fortresses, armor, shall be like fig trees with the first ripe fig. If they be shaken, they shall even fall to the mouth of the eater. So, evidently a fig tree, once it starts getting its figs, it's very adaptable to drop those figs. Jesus went to the fig tree and there was only leaves. You're going to fall. Behold thy people in the midst of the... Behold, the people in the midst of thee are women. How many, of, how many of our government are women? How many of our women are are in our military? How many of our women are in the workplace? What was the status of the women before World War II? Where were our women before World War II, and where are they now? World War II destroyed America. I know we won. But it took the women out of the house and put them in the workplace. The gates of thy land, we don't have gates in this land, shall be set wide open. And thy enemies, the fire, shall devour them. Anybody can come through America, through even that wall of Mexico and through Canada, or through the Atlantic Ocean, or through the Pacific Ocean, through the Gulf of Mexico. Anybody can come right into America. Draw thee waters for the siege. Get your bottled water. <laughs> Fortify the strongholds. Make it stronger. Go into the clay. Tread the mortar. Make strong the built I mean, that's building bricks. Like they do at the Tower of Babel. You mean like Israel was doing for Egypt? There shall be fire to devour thee. The sword shall cut thee off, and shall eat thee up like a canker worm, Joel. Make thyself many as a canker worm, Joel. I mean, utter destruction. Make, thy, make thyself many as a locust. Listen, locusts never travel in pairs. They never travel alone. Man, they come in full force. This is Nineveh. I don't know what's going to happen to America. And I hope I'm raptured. I hope my children are raptured. I hope my children are going to heaven before. Because it will be without mercy. I was multiplied thy merchants above the stars. How many businesses are in America? That are now losing businesses in America. Come on, how big is the yellow pages? The canker worm spoils and flies away. How about COVID-19? They say COVID-19 is coming back. Thy crowns are as the locusts. What kind of crown is that? Thy captains as the great grasshopper. There's so many different captains in America. There's a captain of this, captain of that, captain of these, captain of those, captain of those, all kinds of captains, many captains, this captain, that captain. How many presidents have we had crowned and locusts? You realize how many presidents the Queen Elizabeth has outlasted in UK? You know, they talk about how bad UK. They've kept one queen, and how many presidents have we had? which camp in hedges in the cold day, I guess so, but when the sun rises, they flee away, I guess that's what they do, 
and their place is not known which they are. All right? You take the well-known presidents. Okay? Well-named ones. I bet you three-quarters of Americans can't tell them where they were born. Bet you they couldn't tell you, which I can't say, the, the vice president. I don't know the vice president. I'm just saying. They don't know history. They probably don't know where they're buried. I don't know either. The shepherds slumber. There's your pastors. Our churches are closed. We can't have Sunday night services no more. Oh, king of Syria, that's the nation of Nineveh. Nineveh's the capital. Thy noble shall dwell in the dust. Dead. Ashes, ashes, dust to dust. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains. They've run. Ah! No man gather them. There's no healing of thy bruise. You've been wounded. You've been injured. Thy wound is grievous. In other words, your medical doctors, your medical healing, your prescriptions are not going to help you. All that here, the brute, that's the beast-like men, of thee shall clap their hands over thee. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. The Baptists are preparing you to clap. For upon whom has not thy wickedness passed continually? Nineveh fell. It's gone. That's what America is saying. Amer I don't think America is going to go in the millennium. I think in the tribulation time, I think Americans will sell out for the mark. They sell out their own children. They'll sell out God so they go Mickey Ratland. On the day that the COVIDs were restricted, it was it was actually the weekend, and it was a Sunday. There were, on the major highway here, I-4, was jam-packed of people waiting to go to Mickey Ratland. There's still churches are still closed. And the people are like, oh, hum. I'll go to Facebook. I'll go to, oh, no, I don't like that message. I'll, let me see if I can find a Facebook message I like. Yep. Yeah.